Clear skies, golden beaches, and turquoise waters are some of the first images that come to mind when you think of Honolulu. You'd also be correct to assume that with such a beautiful tropical destination, the fishing scene must be amazing as well. Today, we'll unpack everything you need to know before you start planning your Honolulu fishing trip. From top species to the best spots to target them, you'll be one step closer to an unforgettable adventure. But before you hit play, be sure to like and subscribe to stay up on all our latest angling videos. Those of you who've been fishing in Honolulu are probably already aware of the amazing biodiversity that sits just off the coast. With so many options available, it's hard to even know where to begin. But it only feels right to start our list with the main reason so many avid anglers come to Honolulu each year, and that's marlin. Whether it's blue or striped, or even the occasional black marlin, these billfish most definitely take the spotlight. The water temperatures of the Central Pacific are ideal for marlin to stick around for much of the year. However, their abundance may vary depending on the season and ocean conditions. The next fish on our list is none other than tuna. They come in all shapes and sizes, are extremely fun to catch, and not to mention, delicious. Yellowfin and skipjack tuna, locally referred to as ahi and aku, are the most common catches, though you can hook into the occasional big eye tuna as well. Unlike most other parts of the US, they stick around the waters of Hawaii year round, so you can potentially have a chance to land one anytime you visit. Another consistent offshore catch in Honolulu is mahi-mahi. This is an excellent target to add to your bucket list, especially if you're a beginner, as they typically tire out quicker than other pelagics. But don't underestimate them, because their acrobatic and high-speed bursts can make them fun to catch, even among more skilled anglers. And that's just scratching the surface. You can troll the open waters for wahoo and shortbill spearfish, or bottomfish over reefs for trevally, triggerfish, various snapper species, and even the occasional green job fish. Now that you know what to catch, let's take a look at some of the best spots to go fishing in Honolulu. Luckily, there are tons that are reachable by land, including beaches, piers, and harbors right in the heart of town. One of these is Ala Moana Beach Park, an area with access to productive flats providing excellent sight casting opportunities, especially for bonefish. Honolulu is also a great starting point for many shore fishing spots along the coast. Just about 11 miles west of the city lies a large, shallow embayment called Mamala Bay. It's also very accessible, conveniently located right next to Honolulu International Airport. Moving further northwest along Oahu's coast, you can fish Pokai Bay, another popular area to cast for a variety of inshore and nearshore species, including trevally. You also have many prolific fishing locations on the other side of the island, including Kaneohe Bay, Kualoa Regional Park, and Hanoma Bay. And last but not least, if you plan on hopping on a charter boat, you're gonna wanna check out some of the best offshore fishing spots that the Central Pacific has to offer. Among these are the Marlin Mecca, Ahi Grounds, and 100 Fathom Curve, areas known to hold lots of marlin, tuna, mahi, and many other large pelagic fish. So far, we've covered where to go and what to catch, but how about the different ways to go fishing in Honolulu? As mentioned just a brief moment ago, charter fishing is a great way to access hard to reach offshore and deep sea fishing grounds. The captain and crew will also provide all the gear you need and invaluable local expertise that you just won't get by fishing on your own. You also don't need a license for saltwater fishing, so all you need to do is book a trip and show up at the dock. There are dozens of charters available all over Honolulu who will get you into deep waters and work hard to put you on fish. All you need to do is download our app or visit fishingbooker.com to browse the best deals and book your trip instantly. Also, as stated in the previous chapter of this video, there are plenty of excellent shore fishing spots in the city and surrounding bays that are easy to reach either by foot or by car. You can also rent a kayak and explore protected bays and lagoons that are otherwise harder to reach by foot or larger boat. No matter how you choose to explore this amazing fishery, you can't go wrong. So we're sure you're excited to start testing the waters, but before you do, it's important to familiarize yourself with the local rules and regulations. The good news is, if you're planning on saltwater fishing, you don't need a license. Whether you're fishing on your own or on a charter boat, you're allowed to fish without one. However, there are spots like Honolulu Harbor and Waikiki Diamond Head Shoreline that have special regulations. Also, be sure that you're always respecting size and bag limits, and if you're spearfishing, keep in mind that there are certain species you're not allowed to target at all. That being said, it's always good to check the most recent guidelines from Hawaii's Department of Land and Natural Resources at dlnr.hawaii.gov. 
And when you're finally ready to check out the Honolulu fishing scene for yourself, download the Fishing Booker app or visit us online. You'll be able to browse and compare fishing charters, read customer reviews, and book your trip in just a few taps. So what are you waiting for? Head over to the App Store or go to fishingbooker.com to start planning your adventure today.